public is, is responding um, based on the economic situation of Barbados. Um, so we can't argue with that. And we, of course, very much thank um, the general public and corporate Barbados for their continued support of the Salvation Army during this period and also throughout the year. This is the current position of the Salvation Army Kettle Drive, according to Major Robert Pyle. However, all hope is not lost yet, as there are still a few more days to Christmas. We are very hopeful that um, we will be able to meet our target um, in a not too distant future. Presently, our target for this year is $850,000. Up to last Friday, we were slightly above 390,000. Between that time and now, I'm close, we're close to uh, 500,000 by now. And, um, and even though we are slightly behind, there's, there's still hope. I'm still hopeful that we can accomplish our target and reach it. And it may entirely be possible to reach that target as the kettles have been placed near and far to accept donations from shoppers who may be going to the membership club shopping centers, supermarkets and stores in the city, as well as high traffic streets and areas. The monies from these kettles are used to carry out several programs, including providing food hampers to many. This week alone, some were handed over by the President Dame the Most Honorable Sandra Mason to those in need. The Major says several other programs depend on people's kindness. We have seen an increase. Of course, the familiar faces are there, but we have seen an increase in the amount of persons um, who have the walk-in public. And we are also seeing an increase in persons asking us to, to increase our meals and meal program. And right now, I think we have reached almost the capacity of having one vehicle to supply meals around the island. But there has been an increase in um, persons demanding or requesting uh, a lunch during, 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 during the day. So when you see the red kettle, give kindly, as it brings joy and fills more than hearts for those in need. Wendy Burke, CBC News.